Hello everyone, welcome to the Closet Reviewer channel. If you clicked on that video, that means that you are curious to find out about the fail that I have with one of my and other stories orders. I've decided to renew a bit my uh, wardrobe and order a shirt that I would wear on an everyday basis and to the office as well. And I decided to go with a relaxed feature and I've decided to complete my look by buying a knitted vest. I would like to try these two items in front of you so you can see the fail that I had with uh, both of them. That could be a great lesson for me that can end up being an advice for you. <laughs> what to not do or to do before you uh, order your items from uh, an internet shop. <laughs> what is the thing that I don't like about this shirt? It's the length of the tail, it's far too long. This kind of shirt is the one that needs to be tacked inside the trousers, but again, where are you supposed to put all of this tail within your trousers? Especially if the trousers are very thin, everything will be visible. So I realized that relaxed fit is not uh, a very good option for me. It should be either uh, a tailored, uh, normal, regular fit or an, a completely oversized shirt. And now let's move on to the next item that I've ordered. And I must admit that when I put it on me, I was in a little bit shocked and I started laughing because I was trying to understand uh, where did my order go wrong. <laughs> and I'm gonna wear it now so you can see it for yourselves. Maybe you already have an idea of what potentially could have gone wrong with this vest. So what do you think? <laughs> is this a vest or this is a vest dress? I don't see it as a vest. I expected it to be maximum, I don't know, until here, like, like probably like that, like a vest. Uh, not like a, a, a sleeveless knitted dress. I think that the description on the website should be a little bit more accurate than it is. Uh, to begin with, I've ordered uh, the size small instead of extra small because it was out of stock and I've decided to order the size small. I thought, okay, it is an oversized item, so a size bigger wouldn't make such a big difference. But look at that. I'm not sure if I should wear it as a dress, but I expected it to be not that long. And this is where I would advise you guys to go to the description of the items if you don't want to get disappointed when you receive your order. When I went to the description, it said that the length of the vest is 79 centimeters quite long, right? And because I have the feeling that this is even more longer than 79 centimeters, I would like to measure it with you. Here is my measuring tape and let's see. So the vest is longer than 79 centimeters, it's about 82 centimeters. I don't think that these um, three, four centimeters make a huge difference. But guys, if I would have gone to the description and I would see the length of the vest and I would, I would try it on, on myself, I think that I wouldn't have ordered it because it's too, it's far too long. And I'm not saying in any case that this is a bad item, it's not a bad item. Uh, I was expecting it to be something uh, different and because I didn't get what I wanted, I will return it back and look for a more uh, suitable replacement. This vest if you want it, it can be worn with different options. You can wear leggings with it and uh, heels. You can wear, again, black leggings and knee-high boots. And I can show you an example for that. So this is one option on how you can wear an oversized long vest with knee-high boots and leggings or very tight trousers. And you may agree with me that uh, this vest doesn't complement my uh, body structure. So in order to make it look a little bit nicer, I would suggest to add a belt. A belt is something that can save a lot of different outfits from a disaster and make them like a really nice and unique outfit. 
So as you can see, the overall look has improved a little bit with the uh, with the belt on your waist. When you put your belt a little bit higher than your waist, you make your lower body taller. Then uh, the belt removes the excessive uh, volume that this vest creates and it gives a little bit of a slimmer waist. Plus the belt gives a little bit of uh, uniqueness uh, to your style. To be honest with you, now that I look how this vest looks with this belt, I think that I might really keep it to the end. So the main outcome of this video today is that firstly, you need to always check the description of the products and items before you buy them. Secondly, don't be lazy. Just get this damn measuring tape and see if it will be sit long on you or just fine. Third outcome, don't get disappointed. Just try to find different accessories that will help you to save your look, especially if you cannot return the item anymore back to the store. I hope you enjoyed the video today. You will not make the mistakes that I did in this purchase. If you found the video helpful, just put your thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new content that I will upload and see you soon.